Oh, all right. So, I've got a few things I want to get done today. I'm going to try to do some work in the garage, uh, workshop. I've got a birdhouse. Um, it's actually like a nest box for doves that I want to try to build. And let's see if I can swing the camera. We've had, I don't know if you can see it, it's snowing here, not really heavy snow. It's been on and off. It's supposed to be snow and rain mix, uh, wintry mix, whatever you call it, today. So we'll see how it all goes. Uh, anyhow, let me grab my coffee here and head into the shop. Ah, a little cold. I've got the uh, heaters going in here, so i got to shut the door. The mule will be outside. I've got to bring in my buckets, so we'll be right back. So today, I'm going to try a different bird nest box. Um, it's called a platform but it's kind of a nest box, it's the same concept. This, this is the plans for it. Right here. And this is a robin nest box, but if you'll notice, morning doves, blue jays, house finches, phoebes, um, a variety of different species of birds will use these uh, platform uh, uh, boxes in order to make their nests um, or just to get out of the weather, I guess. But uh, I figured I would go ahead and give this a shot. Um, what I'm going to be doing on the plans, it doesn't have a lip on the front. I'm going to actually put a lip on the front. And then I'm going to extend the, the top and bottom out um, as far as I can get them. Um, I probably will leave just a little gap in between the lip on the front and the, uh, the side walls. But um, I'm going to make this out of maple. I have some maple that, uh, that I have spare. So anyhow, we go ahead and I'll cut the wood to length and then start working on it. We'll be back. Almost forgot to turn the camera back on here. Um, I've already got everything kind of where I want it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm doing is, I'm on the ground here because this is the easiest way for me to do this. I've got a piece of plywood. I'm gonna clamp this, this wood here down and I'm gonna put a hole and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my jigsaw and I'm going to cut my, my lines back. And then I'll show you what the side looks like once that's done. And the reason I'm doing this on a piece of plywood, I'm using a paddle bit. And when you use a paddle bit or any other kind of bit where it, it's cutting through the wood, sometimes what happens is the back side of the wood blows out and you'll splinter it all up. And I really want this to look smooth. I don't want to have to sand down a whole bunch of stuff to get it to smooth back out. So okay, so pretty much how the side will look. I've got to put a 14 degree angle on the top so that the roof will sit down at an angle. But uh, you know, I think it'll work out. I think it'll, it'll turn out pretty good. I've got to do the other side as well. So we'll be back.
the screw holes and I went ahead and glued in place this lip that I put on and, and uh, filled those screw holes as well. Let it dry now and then I'll come back. I think what I'm going to use here, uh, I've got this golden pecan penetrating stain. I'm going to put a light coat of that on there just to make the grain kind of pop a little bit more. And then I'll use my clear satin urethane finish to seal it. Of course, it's, I'll have to sand it all first before I do that. But I gotta wait for it to dry now. So we'll be back once, uh, once it dries and I start to stain it. And I'll do a time lapse of staining and, and, and um, putting the sealant on it. And then uh, the finished product at that point, um, I'll do a reveal on the finished product. So, we'll be back shortly. one coat of stain looks pretty good try to get a better view of it where the light hits it different it really brings out the, the wood grain here um, let's see if I can It's a one coat of pecan. I get it all the way around it, underneath. And as with all birdhouses, nest boxes, and nest platforms now, uh, you do not want to put any stain or paint um, inside on the ground, on the floor, or the back where the birds are going to be in there. You don't want to have any of that. You don't want to like poison them with toxins or whatever. So there it is. I'll buff that out once it dries. It takes a couple hours. It kind of soaks into the wood. And then I'll, uh, I'll put some urethane clear sealant on it 